Hello, Ross here from WaveRunner Audio and a warm welcome to this overview for the kalimba. This is a sampled Hugh Tracy kalimba in C, presented chromatically. And here's the interface. So what we'll see at the top, we've got the rubber, the finger and the nail. And these are the three methods in which the kalimba was sampled. The nail is a more traditional style between the nail and the finger. And that refers to the nail on the finger. So as you're playing, the nail hits the tines and it has much more high end and attack, much more percussive. Fingers are a little softer, it's the fleshy part of the finger. And the rubber is a really, really nice sound. This is playing the kalimba with a rubber. It has a really soft attack and then it resonates out nicely. So let's just have a quick listen to how it sounds. Listen to the nail dynamic mic first. And bring up the condenser, which is a bit brighter, a bit more air. And listen to the finger articulation. This is the condenser of the finger. which is a bit more of a darker sound compared to the condenser mic there. And then moving on to, I think my favorite sound, which is the kalimba performed with a rubber. And here with the dynamic mic. So as you heard there, there are two microphone positions for each of the articulations here. And down here you can see controls to load up and purge the samples according to the microphone position. And the samples automatically load if you move the slider up and automatically purge if you pull them all the way down. If you have the slider up, you can still purge by using the button at the bottom here and reload them either by clicking the button again or simply dragging the slider here. And at the top are pan controls. So this allows you to get pretty creative with your mixes. So perhaps some of the softer rubber stuff sitting underneath the nail 
articulation here and give that a bit of width. And down at the bottom here, you have the option to route out the microphone position to the different contact outputs, if you so wish. So these samples um, that load by default are left raw as they were recorded at fairly low volume. So there's a bit of noise. I just happen to really like that. It brings some cool textures and sounds. You've got the option to just load up the denoise samples. And it's all completely volume and pan matched. And that works both ways. Cool, so they're the main articulations. So let's load these out for now and let's move on to the moods. So the moods have been created by performing these samples through an array of guitar pedals, creating micro loops and textures. And it has two modes and to access the two modes, you use the button here, which is currently one. So this indicates the moods are in mode one. If you give it a click, the moods are now in mode two. And what these different modes mean, we can see a little bit more clearly up here. So in mode one, you can see there's nothing loaded in. So this means if you want to hear a mood, first you need to drag the slider up. That will load it in, and then you can hear it play. In mode two, which is what the moods are really designed for, all the moods are loaded. And what this means is when you play, you can then slide the moods and mix them on the fly and fade them out and get some really cool effects. So let's just have a listen through each of the moods.
And there's a little listen through the nine moods. And so, of course, you can imagine with various combinations and panning, you've got access to creating a lot of really cool and interesting sounds. Um, so let's load up mode two. So all of the moods are now loaded and we can start fading things in and out. So that's just a very quick example of the kind of places you can go to. And that's without even coming down to looking at the effects. So let's do that now. So let's load out the moods quickly by bringing the volume down. And we'll reset the pans by holding down Command on Mac and clicking. And let's take a look at the effects down at the bottom here. So to select the effect, simply click the name. So we've got reverb, delay, transient, high, low pass, filter, a chorus, and compressor. And you can see the compressor is activated by the fact it's highlighted. And you can see which control you've got selected by the line being connected to the power button. So if you wanted to turn the reverb on, we'd select reverb, turn it on, and then we can use the controls to shape our sound. So let's load up a little bit of this.
So plenty of fun to be had with just jamming away and playing around with the controls to go pretty deep into creating all kinds of different sounds, all with the core sound of the kalimba um, for you to play with. Uh, just a quick note about the attack and release controls. If A is selected, as you can see here, this affects the rubber, the finger, and the nail articulations. With M selected, this affects the moods. So you can adjust the attack and release for the um, articulations and moods independently of each other, which can be really helpful. And lastly, let's have a listen to the snapshots. So snapshots are accessed via the snapshot button here, the little camera icon, and then the down arrow. So you've got the default settings, which loads up with this one, and then the snapshot found in the attic sounds like this.
And that's the kalimba available at waveronaudio.com. Thank you very much for listening and watching. <laughs>